Welcome to uh, Studio MMA. I'm here with uh, Ryan Couture. Um, I recognize the name, and when you hear him talk, I didn't realize how much you sound like your dad, but I'll get you, I'll get you, I'll get you, I'll get you get that all the time. It's even worse on the phone. <laughs> so, uh, Ryan, you're with uh, you're Strike Force, uh, doing yeah. Strike Force challenges on June June 24th. They've told me the show's not official yet, so it's not said it could change, but, but that's the tentative date that I've got. June 24th, do you know who you're potentially fighting? Or? Nope, no, no, no partners. Um, I was actually, uh, I was surprised I saw your debut with, uh, with Strike Force uh, and I was expecting to see some wrestling. I was very surprised to see uh, a very well executed triangle. Yeah, that's always kind of been my bread and butter. Uh, when I first started training in Jiu-Jitsu, I wrestled in high school and that's where I was behind for a while. When I got back into it, I started with Jiu-Jitsu and they had a lot of fun learning the dark game, so that's kind of been my, my comfort zone. Would you say it's your passion too? Is that your favorite part of the game? You know, lately I find I look more forward to going to my striking workouts. Kickboxing's been a lot of fun to learn. I feel like I pick up something new every single workout. I've been grappling between wrestling and jiu-jitsu now for over 10 years, so uh, there's more of a novelty to the striking game now. So I'm having a lot of fun learning that. I, I agree with you when it comes to, to striking. Uh, one of the things, and then, you know, it's, it's the conversation for any MMA fan and all fighters as well. What do you think about strike for your boys that belong to the UFC? I think it'll be interesting to see what changes come down the fight. I know uh, for me in the short term, now I can elbow on the ground. I got so many elbows, so I don't have any good for me. And uh, I think it's gonna open a lot of doors emotionally for strike force to really make the most of those shows and, and see what potential, you know, really realize the potential that they have as an emotion. Now that they don't have to worry about some of the adversarial tactics that the UFC would have employed previously. In the long term, it'll be interesting to see if it stays a separate entity or if they both together. Right, well, I'm excited about it. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, one last thing, I just wanted uh, to uh, say a little special uh, uh, shout out here to, to Sam Spira, who I believe manages, he's your manager as well, right? Yep. Yeah, Sam Spira is uh, it's, uh, Ryan's uh, manager, Frank Trigg's manager as well, and uh, I do a little shout out because I got real bad for April Fool's, so what's uh, <laughs> up so, Sam, just wanted to say hello. You know, give me a call, you can't be mad anymore, it's gone two weeks now. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Studio MMA guys, thanks.